guys, how's it going? My name is Jeff from AutoHunter.com and today we're going to be looking at this 1969 Mercury Cougar XR7 428 Cobra Jet convertible. But before I can open it up and show you all the goodies on the inside, first, a quick word from our sponsor. Today's Auto Hunter Cinema video is brought to you by Land Air Sea. Keep tabs on all your valuable assets from the palm of your hand. Remember, with Land Air Sea, theft is temporary. Visit LandAirSea.com to order your Land Air Sea GPS unit for your classic vehicle. Okay, so today I'm standing in front of a 1969 Mercury Cougar XR7 428 Cobra Jet Convertible, which means this is pretty much the pinnacle of Cougar that you can buy because this is equipped with the infamous Cobra Jet under the hood here. But I wanna talk about some of the exterior styling first before we pop the hood. So looking at the exterior, obviously you can see that this car does have hidden headlights and this is essentially based on the Mustang, but it was taken with a more uh, heavier approach towards luxury styling, including this featured in a nice medium blue metallic with a white interior on the inside as well. So let's go ahead and let's pop the hood and we'll take a look at the Cobra Jet that's underneath. So underneath here is the 428 Cobra Jet engine. Now this one in particular is awesome. So this was rated at 335 horsepower at the time, which at the time was actually considered underrated because the Cobra Jet was more likely putting out a net horsepower of 411. So that's pretty cool indeed, seeing that stuffed in there underneath. We have a vintage style battery and some other cool components that have a very well done engine bay. As we walk around to the side of the car here, we of course have the car equipped with wide ovals and the original style Mercury wheels, which look absolutely fantastic in terms of taking a vintage approach to make the car look like it just rolled out the factory floor in 1969. Moving on to the interior here, this car is a convertible and white is a great way to make a statement in a car like this. And if you look in the center, of course, we have a Mercomatic automatic transmission, which is just the C6 automatic transmission, which like we mentioned is often used in terms of racing or some of the higher performance engines as it's a preference being that it's a much less complex transmission, which can be great for taking on the drag strip if you chose to use the convertible in that space. But it's also great when you're just choosing to cruise the street. We have some of our other awesome Mercury XR7 bits being an XR7. This, of course, is the up tiered uh, Mercury Cougar. So it's got some of the other added luxury bits. But this car is actually only one of 39 Cobra Jet Mercury Cougars to be equipped with the Mercomatic transmission. Coming around to the back side here, we of course have our, again, Mercury taillights, um, which the Mercury Cougar taillights for 1969 um, and 68 would actually be used on the GT500, which is kind of fun because of their sequential turn signals, but in 69 would be replaced by the Thunderbirds. But back here, we just have your sort of typical, nothing too special going on in the rear here. Uh, just a quick look at a really cool car, including some of the XR7 options, which would actually come with wings, which was kind of cool, including this mid-century styling change, but very cool car indeed. Kind of cool having the rare usage of it when you're able to look at things like the Marty reports, which are still relevant for things like Mercury's. So with that, that's the end of the video. If you guys are interested in purchasing a collector vehicle for yourself, be sure to check out autohunter.com, which is our online auction, which has vehicles going live every single weekday. Now, if you could go ahead and throw a like on the video, we'd really appreciate it as it helps the channel out and get subscribed as we release videos like this regularly. And with that, thank you so much for watching.